As many of you may know, I used to be a cruise agent for over 30 years. And one of the main questions I was always asked was, Holly, which cabin would you avoid and which cabin would you recommend? Now, as a full-time cruise blogger, I am asked Holly, which cabins are the noisiest? So welcome to my third episode in my Cabins to Avoid series and this time I feature the beautiful ship MSC Virtuosa. So if you are looking to book Virtuosa then please watch this video right through to the end because I'll be recommending some great located cabins but I'll also be telling you the noisiest cabins to avoid. Pack my things up carefree Adventure's way in I'm heading out, heading out to see the rest of the now, when you book your MSC cruise, you are offered different experiences. The Bella, the Fantastica, the Aurea and Yacht Club. Now, we'll discuss Yacht Club in another video, but for now, let's concentrate on Bella, Fantastica and Aurea. Now, if you book a Bella experience, then the price is often quite cheaper. But because of that, you can't choose your cabin number. Your cabin choice is down to MSC cruises and you have no control over your location whatsoever. So if having a cabin in a specific location is important to you, then maybe choose another experience. Fantastical experience is a little bit more expensive, but you can choose your cabin number. You also get free room service for breakfast, which is a nice touch, and you can also choose first or second sitting for dining. So also you can choose Aurea Experience. Now Aurea Experience, you can choose Freedom Dining. You can choose your cabin location in sought after areas. You get priority boarding, disembarkation, and a few other benefits as well. So choosing the right experience, dependent on budget and cabin location, may be something you need to really think about before you book. First of all, we're going to start on deck five, which is Mozart deck. Deck five is the first passenger deck on MSC Virtuosa and there are three kinds of staterooms. We've got the single inside stateroom, which is 12 square meters. Then we've got the deluxe interior stateroom at 17 square meters, followed by the deluxe ocean view at 16 square meters. Now the cabins on deck five are forward and are right by the theater. So if you want to see a show, then a great location to be in. Also to the after deck five, you've got the Blue Danube main dining room. So if you're hungry, you've not far to go. Just be aware when staying on this deck that there are some entertainment venues above your head. Passengers who have stayed in 5016 to 5034 have occasionally heard some noise coming from the Virtuosa bar above them. And together with cabins in 5073 to 5151, I've also mentioned about some noise above the heads from the party nights. But if you're like me and you like a good party, then it won't be an issue at all. Now, don't be concerned as well if you are near or by the panoramic lifts because everybody who's been near these lifts have said, what a great location. No noise, nice and quiet and great to reach other decks on the ship. Welcome to deck eight. Now there are lots of different types of cabins on deck eight that I want to talk you through. So we'll go through each part of the deck step by step. Now starting off, I want to point out the ocean view cabins on deck eight. Now they are called junior ocean views and junior obstructed ocean view views. There are only 12 square meters. When you think the deluxe ocean views are 17 square meters, as are the balconies, 12 square meters is pretty small. So just so you are aware, but I'll show you some pictures as we go through the deck. Now we'll start at the front. Now these are balcony cabins. Now these are metal fronted. So the sheltered balconies on deck eight forward, which you'll be able to see they are quite enclosed. But everybody says apart from cabin 801, which can be noisy when the ship's docking, it's a brilliant location to be in. Now, if space isn't an issue for you, then these are the junior ocean views. Some are obstructed, some are clear view. They're only 12 square meters, so they are pretty small uh, and compact. But if space isn't an issue, then these will be fine for you. Next, we have the green cabins, which is the BP deluxe balcony with partial view, 17 square meters. Now, the balconies on these are really, really big. No more so than 8104, 8106, 8103 and 8105. The balconies are absolutely huge, very much sought after. So if you can grab one of these, do. Uh, I would very much recommend it. I mean, if you look at the cabin only a few doors down, 8112, look at the difference in balcony size. It's a quarter of the size. 
Now the green cabins in the middle are completely clear view. So if you do want a clear view, then these are the cabins to grab hold of. The balconies are smaller though. Uh, so I guess you've got to decide, do you want an obstructed and a bigger balcony or do you want a clear view and a smaller balcony? I'd also want to point out cabin number 8256 to 8262. These four cabins have been noted to smell some smoke, which is there is a smoking area directly underneath you on deck seven. As you can see, the lifeboats on this deck don't cause too much of an obstruction at all. So if you want to save a little bit of money, this is a great deck to be on. Welcome to deck nine. Now, majority of people say deck nine is a really good location to be on. Uh, because you've got entertainment areas nearby but you do see the addition of the premium ocean views at 25 square meters the premium aurea suites at 25 square meters and the yacht club duplex suites together as well at 59 square meters now let's talk about the premium ocean views now former passengers love these cabins uh, i'm not surprised at 25 square meters and they sleep a family of six they're on deck 9 deck 10 and deck 11 they've got porthole windows bunk beds for the children and twin or double beds uh, for everybody else but great cabins also on this deck is you've got your deluxe balcony cabins they're 17 square meters the glass fronted fully clear view and you can see that the lifeboats on deck seven don't obstruct your view either just wanted to talk about the pros and cons of the extended balcony cabins many people like these as the balconies are slightly bigger but bear in mind that you are slightly overlooked from the cabins to the side of you plus your view is only to the side your cabin is facing e.g you can't look to your immediate right if your cabin faces the left Welcome to decks 10 to deck 13. And yes, MSC Cruises do have a deck 13. Now on these decks, we see the introduction of the deluxe balcony Aurea, which is 17 square meters and the most expensive out of all the balcony cabins. And the reason for that is because of their location midship on deck 11, 12 and 13. I also wanted to talk about the aft or stern of the ship where you have the premium Aurea suites and deluxe balcony cabins. The premium Aurea suites have huge balconies and all cabins have incredible views of the wake. What a view to wake up to every morning. Welcome to deck 14. Oh, I think this has been one of the most talked about decks when it comes to noisy cabins, which I'll point out to you. But before we do that, let's talk about the cabins on deck 14. We've got single interiors, deluxe interiors, studio balconies, deluxe balcony with a partial view, and I'll explain to you why, the deluxe balconies and premium suite areas. First of all, let's talk about the overhang on deck 14. Now from cabin number 14045 and 14034, right through over to 14205 and 14248, you'll find an overhang. And that just means the deck above you is wider than the deck underneath. Now, if you can see cabins 14045 to 14089, and then the same on starboard, continue down the deck from 14175 and 14205, and the same on starboard. They are deluxe balcony with partial view, and that is because the inset is a lot bigger, so you have more of an overhang. So if you like the privacy of sunbathing on your balcony, then you may want to rethink. Now, if you're wanting a gorgeous location, a really quiet cabin, beautiful glass fronted and sea views, then look no further than cabin 14031 to 14041, 14020 to 14030. And these are balcony BR3 grade clear view. Now the main rule of booking a cabin is always cabins above you and cabins below. So if booking a cabin under a pool area or buffet restaurant, in many cases, you may be prone to some noise. Whether that's the scraping of some beds or dining chairs, it could be possible from as early as 7 a.m. This passenger, for example, was woken up at 3 a.m. with these noises while she slept in cabin number 14208. Noise like that should never be an issue at 3am on any cruise ship. If you do experience anything like that, then go to guest relations. 
It is so important to do your research, but for convenience though, deck 14 is literally just one flight of stairs to the Buffy restaurant and also the lovely pool area. So remember, choosing the right experience can be quite important if your cabin location is important to you. Make sure you do your research before you book. MSC Virtuosa is an absolute beautiful, beautiful ship. So if you are going on MSC Virtuosa, have the most amazing time. She is incredible. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.